So moving on then, the last thing we'll look at is the negative powers rule. This is where we have a variable, for instance, a to the power minus b, and this is equal to one over a to the power of positive b. So we just put one over the value and remove the negative power. So it's simple enough, but it works for everything. So even if we have a fraction, for instance, x over y, and we have this to the power minus m, this is gonna be equal to one over x over y uh, to the positive m, uh, and what this actually does is it flips the fraction. So we end up with y over x, all to the power positive m. So it's just something to think about there, uh, but that's about it for this video. If you're feeling ready to get some practice in, uh, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked, so you get feedback straight away, allowing you to work out where you're going wrong and where you can improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.